You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. There's no one better to preview a big game than a member of the coaching staff. And that's why Anna talked with UK assistant coach Jay Lucas this morning before he hopped on a flight to Auburn. And they started with the Cats win over Texas A&M. All right, we can't talk about the Texas A&M game without talking about Jacob Toppin. Breakout performance. I'm sure you've seen flashes of that from him before, but what clicked and did you know that it was coming in that game? No, you, know, you always hope it's coming in every game. Uh, but the one thing about Jacob, uh, he brings a lot of energy. Um, and the one thing about him is when he does that, he's a much better player, obviously. But, you know, in that game, it was something that we needed because of the way they were playing, how physical they were how aggressive they were being guarding us and things like that. And we needed somebody to rebound and really finish around the rim. And that's one of the things he did for us. He did the, all the little things in that game that help you win a tight, close road conference game. That's what he did. And same thing also for Davion Mintz. The last couple games, his consistency and confidence has been off the charts. Yeah, I think he's starting to really settle into his role and understanding exactly what he needs to do to help us win. And he's getting more comfortable in it. Uh, the one thing he did last game against a and is he really rebounded. And we really needed it. I think he had eight rebounds. Mm -hmm. um, and he really helped the team in a big way, especially down the stretch, getting some of those defensive ones where we need to limit them to one possession. Uh, he did a great job with that. And then just his confidence he's playing with right now, like you were saying, is a big part of why he is playing good and kind of why he's a big he's we always knew he's going to be a big part of the team we just needed to get everybody settled in and i think he's starting to settle into his role it was the first close win of the season for you guys mm -hmm. every other win has been by double digits uh you've had some close losses before but what does this show you about your team what did it tell you about them that maybe you hadn't seen before uh that we have grit uh, i think that's the biggest thing that we wanted to see in a tough environment, a tough road game. Um, it's similar to a game like a Notre Dame where we didn't execute, didn't finish down the stretch. Uh, we executed a little bit better, enough to win the game uh, down the stretch. But uh, you're going to have games like this, especially in conference on the road. You know, you go to a place that hasn't been selling out, <laughs> hasn't had whiteouts or anything like that. And then you walk into that environment and they're amped up, they're juiced to play. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just a good a good indication of what we can be and how we can win a game when we don't shoot our best. We don't play our best. You know, some of our players we rely on don't play so good. So, you know, it's a, a good test for our grit and show if we have it or not. Up next, Auburn, number two team in the country and definitely your toughest competition in the SEC. How big of a challenge is this game going to be and what do you have to do to win? Uh, it's a big challenge. You know, they're probably, you know, I know they're ranked number two, but I would probably say they're the best team in the country. Uh, with the way they're playing and their personnel right now. Um, and you know the building's going to be <laughs> intense uh, come Saturday. And You know, the biggest thing is, you know, they want to play fast. We want to play fast. Uh, so it should be an entertaining game. We just can't give them any live ball turnovers. We got to kind of limit those and kind of eliminate some of their free points and things they get in transition like that. And then we have to really guard the ball and guard the three-point line. Um, if we can do that and give ourselves the opportunity to be right there down the stretch, we feel good about it. For Auburn, Jabari Smith, he's really the motor of that team. How do you stop him? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> We're still trying to figure that part out of that part of it out. Um, you know, like you're saying, he's a really good player, really good freshman, probably, you know, maybe the number one pick in the draft. Uh, but we have, you know, some guys with size, length, and kind of athleticism that we feel that can guard him that he maybe hasn't seen. Uh, yet. So we'll have some stuff kind of a little package for him. Um, and then we really just, you know, it's a big game for them, too. Mm -hmm. So you got to see how they respond and how he responds. You know what I mean? He still is a freshman and freshmen, you know, do freshman things at times. So we're kind of hoping, hoping for that from him. Uh, but he is a really good one. And, and, you know, he's definitely at the top of the scouting report. Big thanks to Jay Lucas for the time. Coming up next, we're heading to the rink. It's Cats versus Cards tonight at midnight. We'll preview the late night matchup with the UK hockey team right after the break.